everyone! So today we are now in the quarter for week 3. So this is only the continuation of last week, week 2. It's all about volume of a cube and rectangular prism and its unit. Let's watch this. Hi everyone! So ngayon tayo ay nasa week 3 ng quarter 4, volume of a cube and rectangular prism using cubic centimeter and cubic meters. So as we all know, last week or in our week 2, volume pa rin. So it is only the continuation hanggang week 4 tungkol dun sa volume of a cube and rectangular prism. So, what is volume again? Volume is the number of cubic units needed to fill the spatial figure. So, it is the amount that will occupy space of the figure. So, again, volume is three-dimensional process of measuring the spatial figure. So, ang una nating spatial figure na pinag-aralan is the rectangular prism. So, it is composed of the area of the base. So, area, as we all know, is length times the width. Then, we, if we add the height, so we will multiply it by the height. So, meaning volume of rectangular prism is equals to L times W times the height. So, that is why every answer is in cubic units. Cubic inches, cubic centimeter, cubic meter, and others. How about if it is a cube? So, a cube is also an oh, example of special figure that has three dimensions. Ano na pagkakaiba ni cube kay rectangular prism? So, cube, as we all know, the faces of the cube are perfect squares. The length, the width, and the height are equal. So, the sides of the square are also called edges. So, kapag sa solid figure, di ba, ang tinatawag natin ang side na edges. So, and S is the symbol used. Thus, the formula to find the volume of the cube is volume of the cube equals S times S times S or S cube. Or S stands for sides since pare-pareho naman ng sukat. Or pwede din naman natin sabihin na V equals E times E times E or E cube since E is also stand for edge. So, example yan natin ng cube. Pare-pareho siya ng sukat. Ang characteristics niya is like the polygon of a square. So, example natin ng volume of a cube. So, example natin itong cube natin na may side na 3 cm. Meaning, a length, and width, and the height is also 3 cm. Kaya, no need ang isulat lahat ng 3 cm. So, example natin yung side na 3 cm. So, if we're going to substitute the volume of the cube, 3 cm times 3 cm times 3 cm. 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 equals 27 cubic cm. Ayan. So, yung 27 cm cube is read as 27 cubic centimeters. So, inuuna natin basahin yung 3 or yung exponent na 3 as cubic then centimeters. So, example naman natin to ay a rectangular prism. Ayan. Kung ang rectangular prism na may formula na length times the width times the height, so, ilagay natin ang mga number na given so, 5 cm times 3 cm times 4 cm. 5 times 3 equals 15 times 4 equals 16. Then, the unit of centimeters, since may tatlo tayo, ang volume natin, ang unit dapat cube. So, 60 cubic centimeters. From this example, ang storage box ay isang rectangular prism. So, we will identify the volume. If the given storage box is 60 cm by 40 cm by 30 cm. So, meaning ito yung length, width, and the height. So, what is the volume of the box? So, identify natin using the formula 60 V, v equals L times W times the H. So, 60 cm by 40 cm times 30 cm. 60 times 40 equals 2,400 times 30 equals 72,000 centimeter cube or cubic centimeters. In estimating and using appropriate units of measure for volume, so depende sa given na bagay na pinaglalagyan or kukunan natin na volume. 
So, example natin ang problem. Elijah sa rectangular box with side sand inside it. He wants to know the capacity of the box. What shall he do? What unit of measure will he use? So, ito yung tatandaan natin. So, the unit of measurement will use depends on the size of the object you will measure. For tiny objects, it is better to use cubic millimeter. So, yung mga pinakamaliit na bagay, cubic millimeter. For small ones, so yung medyo maliit naman ng konti, malaki ng konti sa cubic millimeter, cubic centimeter. Then, kapag medyo kasing laki na na ruler, mas malaki na dyan ng konti. So, cubic decimeter. Pero kapag malaking gamit na, example, yung pool, di ba, hindi na natin kaya measure natin yung gamit ng kamay natin. So, we use the cubic meter. So, example natin, ano ang gagamitin natin unit dito? Cubic millimeter bus, cubic centimeter, cubic decimeter, and cubic meter. What water in rectangular pool? So, mas maigi, gamitin natin ng cubic meter kasi malaki yung pool. And ice before it melts. Dahil maliit lang naman yung ice, di ba? Cubic millimeter, centimeter. Pwede rin naman natin cubic millimeter. How about the dice, di ba? So, yung dice, sobrang liit na. So, cubic millimeter yon. A blackboard eraser. So, as you all know, yung eraser naman natin, kaya ang hawakan ng kamay. So, pwede na natin yung cubic millimeter or cubic centimeter. How about oil and rectangular box? Hindi naman natin sinabi dito kung gano'ng kalaki ba yung box, di ba? Pero, since oil lang naman yun, pwede na yung cubic centimeter. So, from the learning task 1, find the volume of each prism. So, prism ang hinihingi, di ba? Length times width times height yun. So, length, width, and height. So, ang given natin, length, at ano yung width, and the height, we will find the volume. So, we will just multiply. 4 times 2.5 times 3.5 meters. So, it's equivalent to 35 cubic meter. Take note, dahil meter yan, so meter ang gagamitin natin. Kayo ni magsagot ng 2 n. Next is learning task 2. Write the best unit of measure to find the volume of the following. Choose your answer from the box below. So, ito yung mga bagay or mga gamit. Ano yung gagamitin nating unit? So, we have cubic millimeter, cubic centimeter, cubic decimeter, and cubic meter. Example number 1. A wooden rectangular chopping board. So, chopping board. Ano ba yun? Sangkala, di ba? So, ano pwede natin sagot yan? Pwede natin yung cubic centimeter. Huwag lang yung siyang kalanini ng rhyme. Malaki yun, di ba? So, pwede na natin gamitin yung cubic din, simeter doon. So, 2, 3, and 4, and 5. So, kayo na yung bahala magsagot. So, in our learning task 3 naman, apply the appropriate formula to find each volume. Based on the given, so, yung number 1 natin, uh, magkakaiba yung length, width, and height. So, meaning, ang kukunin natin dyan ay Rectangular prism. So, meaning, length times width times height. 2 times 5, 10. Times 7 equals 70 cubic centimeter. Since centimeter ang given natin. How about number 2? So, ito ay cube. Why? So, side lang natin yan na 10 centimeter. So, meaning, pare-pareho siya ng sukat. So, ang ating formula is side times side times side. So, 10 centimeter times 10 centimeter times 10 centimeter. 10 times 10, 100. Times 10 is 1,000 cubic centimeter. Last. So, yung number 3 natin, di ba? Side lang dyan na 7 centimeters. Meaning, ang gagamitin natin is volume of a cube. So, side times side times side. So, 7 times 7 times 7 equals 343 cubic centimeter. So, our reference for today's lesson, week 3 of our fourth quarter, is from Pivot 4A Learners Packet. So, and also yung nasa book din natin na ating mga plates, pwede nyo rin tingnan for reference. Thank you for watching. Thank you, my dear Road to 2000 subscribers. I am your teacher, Carmi. And don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye!